こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today we're going to continue with kanji number four video of JLPT N4. The first kanji is this one and it comes from the adverb yoai, weak. Yoai is the opposite of tsuyoi, strong tsuyoi. Yoai, weak. In the previous kanji video number three, we studied this one. This kanji, the tsuyoi is strong. In the left part, this is the a bow, a bow, and strong, strong bow. So this is strong. But here, we've got also this bow, but with the decoration, this one. The decoration of the hair of the, the horse. So the horse hair decoration. So it's not so strong. When I, like this, with the decoration, it's not so strong. So weak and weak. So this is weak. Now a stroke order. This is the same as tsuyoi. So the first one is this part, like ko from katakana. One and two. And the important point, it is like this, going up, going up, like this. The third stroke is this blue line. From here, where you finish the, this one, the, this black line, one, and you are going a little bit to your left down, like this. And now you are going up. And here, this point is about the same as here. And now you are going down, but to your left. Hmm? To your left, then jump. And till here, this is yumi, the a bow. Now the horse hair decoration, this one. So here, the green one and red one. This is mm from katakana. Once you finish this left part, and the right part is exactly the same. But you must think that this is going like this, going up. So the first point that you, you begin, this here, like the continuing and here. And you, you do that just the same. But this green line, this is if you do a little bit longer than this blue one, a little bit more down, the longer, and it's gonna be more beautiful your kanji. We pronounce this kanji in kunyomi yowa and hiragana i yowa i, and also an onyomi jaku, jaku. Together with this kanji tsuyoi, and we pronounce kyo jaku, kyo jaku. It means strong and weak. The next kanji is this one and comes from this i adjective omoi. And it means very heavy, omoi, heavy. The stroke order, the first one is this red one. It's like no of katakana, like this. But no of the katakana, there are more inclination. Not so lots of inclination. So it is almost like a laying, laying down, like this one. And the second one is this black line. And this is the longest line from the left to the right. To the longest line. Next is the part of hi or nichi. This is the sun or like the Sunday, okay? And the one thing very important is that you must write like this, okay? So the first line, this one, this blue line going inside and now this green one going up and also going inside. Then in the center, red line and this black line. Next is this blue line just in the center going down like this, straight down. And this in the center of this kanji. And the last two lines, the, this green one, and this is a little bit wider than here, this part of kanji, this one. And the last line is this red one. This is longer than this green line, but not so long as this black line. If you write in the same space here, 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 and here, then your kanji is very beautiful. We can pronounce this kanji, you know, omo, omo, heavy, e with hiragana, and ju 
を重で重ねるを重なる延長 using this kanji here 十 and here this is 力 this is just like the ka from katakana but this is also kanji 力 it means power so heavy power power heavy power this is 重力 gravity 重心 the same kanji here the 重い so heavy and 心 this is 心 心 is heart and also it means the center so 重心 it means the center of gravity adding this 大大きい big 重大 this means important serious or significant for example this is an adjective so 重大な問題重大な問題 serious problem important problem now with this kanji yo do you remember 必要 with this kanji 必要 it means necessary so 重要 it means heavy and required heavily required it means 重要 this is not adjective and it means also important but the meaning of principle or essential 体重 this kanji 体 this is 体体 it means body so body weight、hmm? so 体重 body weight next kanji is this one it comes from the adverb 軽い軽い it means light it's not heavy at all it's light it's better to learn these two together 重い heavy 軽い light the left part of this kanji is kuruma so this is kuruma hen kuruma is a car and the right part this symbolizes very narrow road narrow street so this means a car that can go through or that can drive through a narrow road so this is light car this so this is karui light now a stroke order the first part is car kuruma but you must write narrower than kuruma usual okay the first part is this red one one going a little bit going up Now, the part of nichi or hi, the sun, just the same like before, going like this, okay? The first, this black line going inside, and then this blue one going here. This is longer than this red one going here and going inside. So, this is together. And now, in the center, this green line, and you close with this red one. Now, this black line, like this, going up. But be careful, the, the left part is longer than this right part, okay? Like this, going up. And this blue line going straight down. Now, the right part, and this one, this is like, じゃあまたね See you! This mata is this kanji, okay? This green line going up. And going like this. This is like fu, haki, fu, heho. Like fu, the katakana, fu from katakana, but not so short, but it's longer, like this. Now the red line here, very long one, like this, like this, okay? And about the same point here. The last part is here. You know, this kanji is tsuchi. Tsuchi is the soil. Or, do yobi, Saturday. So it's very easy. The, the first one is this black one, one, and this blue one in the center going straight down, and the last one is this green one, like this. In this kanji, the most left part is this black line here, this one, and the most right one finishes here, in the red one, the red line here. We can pronounce this kanji. Karu and i hiragana, or karo and hiragana yaka, or kei. This is onyomi. Kei. Kei shoku. You know, this shoku 
it is the verb tabemas to eat. So to eat lightly. So keishoku, it means light meal. Undo shimas. This is the verb to do some exercises, to do some sports. So only undo, this is the noun. If I say karui undo, then it means light exercises, light sports. The fourth kanji is this, comes from the adjective futoi. Futoi, it means thick or fat. This kanji in here, this part, oki, it means big. And we add this one, and this ten here, it means, this is the abbreviation of the repetition. So it means big, and again big. So it means fat. The stroke order is very easy. At first, we are going to write this big, oki. You are going a little bit up, and second one like this, and third, this blue one like this. The important point is this the fourth line. And if you begin not in the center of this kanji, but a little bit a left part, then it is better. We pronounce futo and hiragana i, or tai, or ta. The verb to get fat or to gain weight. Futorimasu. Taiyo. Taiyo. The sun. Pacific Ocean. Taiheiyo. Taiheiyo. So this kanji showed something enormous such as the sun and Pacific Ocean. This kanji comes from this E adjective. Hosoi. Hosoi means thin, slim, slender. Fine. So these two adjectives are the opposite. Futoi, thick or fat. Hosoi, fine or slender, thin. The left part of this kanji is ito. Ito means thread. Very, very thin thread. And also this one, ta, like ta, the tambo no ta, but this here, it shows like a baby head. Very thin yet. So the both are very thin, thin. So this is hosoi, thin. The first stroke is this red one. You are going your left, and you turn to your right. But this this is quite short here. Now the second stroke, this uh, black line, and you must begin not the same point like here, but more right. From here, the same inclination as this red one, like this. Two, and you be, you finish like here, and you're going up. So this mm, black one is longer than this mm, red one because you begin mm, here. You begin first, so going here, and and red one you went down like this. But now this part you are going up. The third one is this blue one. It it's like mu. Of katakana like this like this now this part it looks like chisai not exactly the same but it's like chisai this green one this is the longest line here to to the down and red one like this and black one now the right part this one and it is like ta the, the tambo rice field the same and you must be careful like this okay the blue line, this one, till here, one like this. So only here, and then this green one, two, going inside. Now, attention, we are not going to write he, like the sun, but this red line, straight down, vertical one, three. And then this black line, just in the middle, the center, going like this. And the last one is this blue line, and you close this one. We can pronounce this kanji, hoso and hiragana i, or koma and hiragana kai, or onyomi sai. When you see this kanji with okrigana i, only i, then we pronounce hosoi. 
and if there's ka i, then we pronounce komakai. Hosoi hito, thin person, slim person. Komakai hito, very detailed person, very precise person, perfectionist, careful person. Komakai hito can have both meaning positive way and a little bit negative. Komakai hito can mean fussy person, fastidious person, or picky person. Small change. Komakai o kane. Today we learned other five kanjis. So, as this is the, the number four video of kanji of JLPT N4, so you already know 20 more kanjis of JLPT N4. Now, a quiz time with four translations into Japanese. I want you to use also kanjis as many as possible. Ichiban me. I want to be slim by summer. I want to help you saying this. This is, I want to become slim. So you know what kind of grammar pattern you're going to use, right? Niban me. My friend doesn't get fat, even if she eats a lot. Niban me. This big baggage is very heavy. Yoban me, saigo desu. I'm gonna eat a light meal after doing light sport or light exercises. I understand that it's quite hard to memorize kanjis, right? But I think it's better to write at least once or twice or three times if you can. Write with your hand and your pencil. I think this is the best way to learn kanjis. And it's almost impossible to learn by heart all the kanjis. For example, 50 kanjis all together in one day. It's impossible. But five kanjis, it's, it's possible. But anyway, you can learn these five kanjis in one week. And it's really possible. So little by little, and it's very important to continue. It takes quite a lot of time and my effort to make each video because I'm not so so good at computer and not good at editing, but I do it all by myself. So it's quite difficult for me. It's hard work, but I try. I try this because I want you to learn Japanese better. So if you like this video, please give me like and also your subscription. And if you can share my videos with your friends. You, uh, that will be a very, very good, good help for me. Ikaka de shita ka? Kyo mo Nihongo no Ryokusuke 4Q no kanji no 4ban me no video o benkyo shi mashita kara mo kore de 4Q no kanji wa 20 benkyo shita koto ni narimasu. Mo chiron, watashi mo shougakko no toki kara kanji o benkyo shite imasu ga mm, to te mo taihen de shita. Sore ni kanji wa tsukawa nai to sugo wasure chao un desu yo ne. Honto ni zannen desu ne. ですから漢字は機械があるときに書けるときになるべく書いて忘れないようにしましょう。焦らないで少しずつ頑張っていきましょうね。私も皆さんの日本語の勉強に少しでも役に立つように頑張っていきます。このビデオが気に入ってくださ